My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review for the very first episode of Loki. And heads up, this will be a spoiler review. I will be going into depth. So if you haven't seen this episode, then stay away. If you have seen this episode or if you just don't care, then keep watching. I'm going to be honest, these Marvel shows just haven't been doing it for me. I thought WandaVision got off to a promising start, but then it just threw it all away for something much more generic, and Falcon the Winter Soldier was just a mess for me. But will Loki be the show that wins me over on all these Marvel shows? And the answer is no. Well, at least not yet. It's too soon to say for sure, but it's not off to a promising start. What did I like about the episode? I like the world building. I think there's a quirky quality here. Like he gets in an elevator and instead of the elevator going down like a, well, a normal elevator would, the floors just drop from underneath within and he just falls from one level to the next. And I like that. He enters this room where every word that he's ever said is recorded and every time he says a new word, it gets written down on a new piece of paper. I like that. And even though I'm about to complain about the exposition, there is one exposition sequence that's animated that I thought was a really unique way to do that. And that's about it for my positive. Now, why didn't I like this episode? Well, here's the thing. You gotta judge this based on what's here alone. So, if there was no Loki, if there was no Marvel show, is there enough here in this pilot episode that if it was completely no-name characters in a no-name universe, would I be hooked after this first episode? And the answer is definitely not. There's nothing here. There's nothing here character-wise. There's nothing here, here to propel any sort of narrative. There's just nothing here, period. There's so much exposition. It's exposition on top of exposition on top of exposition. It's exposition overload. And then there's all these clips from the different Marvel movies and it just felt like pandering fan service to me. There's a section where this episode attempts to dive into Loki's character and why he does what he does, and it just completely fell flat. I didn't feel like there was any depth there. It was really forced, it wasn't subtle, it didn't solve the narrative any purpose, and the pacing comes to a complete halt. There's no way I can talk about my next complaint without sounding super naughty, but they spent like 21, 22, 23 movies leading up to the Infinity Wars and Avengers Endgame. The, the entire first section of the MCU is literally called the Infinity Saga. It's all about introducing the stones and then the plot that eventually comes from them. And it really bothers me that in this episode, there's just a scene with a whole bunch of these different Infinity Stones it completely ruins the stakes and the dramatic weight of the rest of the movies. Like, I can't believe they actually put that in there. I don't know if it was for fan service reasons or if they thought it would be a cute little gag like they thought Ralph Borno would be. But it wasn't. It actually retroactively brings down a lot of cohesion within this universe. And I hate stuff like that. Okay, and, and I have to talk about the fact that when WandaVision came out, everybody was just like, oh, it, it's Mephisto. Everybody was talking about Mephisto. And I wish they went in that direction, but it seems like he's the Marvel version of the devil. And there's a section here where there's a little kid and he, Owen Wilson asks him, who did this? And he points to a picture of the devil on the wall. And all I could think was, oh my goodness. Here we go again. Look, I don't have a lot to say on this episode. I don't think there's anything here to really get me excited for the rest of the series. I'll keep watching. I don't know if I'm going to do reviews every week, maybe every couple of weeks, or maybe I'll do one big one at the end. Depends on how much there is to actually say. But right now, I don't feel like this show's off to a promising start. I feel like there's not enough here. It feels pandering. It feels exposition heavy. I thought it was pretty boring. This show just isn't off to a good start for me, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a 3 out of 10. Okay, did you hate this episode like I did, or did you low-key liked it? <laughs> that was a good one. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for some more videos soon. Gavin out.